Hi, Walt Egan. I'm Nick Alajakis. Thank you for joining us for 60 and 60 for the week of April 26th. We're busy this week with a lot of news to share, so let's get to it. Our Board of Education officially seated four members this week during a special organizational meeting. Mr. Jeff McBride, Ms. Anita Hanna, Mr. Brandon Ewing, and Ms. Adriana Gonzalez were each elected to four-year terms during the April 2021 consolidated election. Ms. Gonzalez joins the board as a new member. During the ceremony, each took time to recite the Illinois School Board Member Oath before the board selected officers. Mr. Ewing was elected by the board to serve as president and Mr. Rick Riddle to serve as vice president. Our district is hosting a series of hotspot audit recovery events over this week and next to help ensure our hotspot devices are operational and being used correctly. During these events, staff will confirm that devices are operational and there are no issues concerning the device's battery or signal. Anyone with a district provided hotspot is asked to please attend one of these events. Each event will be hosted at our Welcome Center on Greenwood Avenue from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Updating dates include Friday, April 30th, Saturday, May 1st, Tuesday, May 4th, Thursday, May 6th, and Friday, May 7th. Parents can quickly and safely check in using the Chestnut Street entrance. Any hotspot not inventoried will be shut off on May 17th. We recently announced the winners of the 2021 Middle School Art Show. The art show features work from all five Waukegan Middle Schools that was created by students during the 2020-2021 school year. Congratulations to Juarez 8th grader Leslie Guell, whose work won Best in Show. Other winners included Natalie Lizardo of Webster Middle School, who won in the 6th grade category, Webster student Pamela Ayala Leon, who took home first place in the 7th grade category, and finally Marlene Escobedo of Jefferson Middle School, whose work was picked as the winner in the 8th grade category. You can check out all of our students' amazing work in this year's virtual gallery, which is available on our website. And finally, this week our Board of Education took action to amend graduation requirements for the Waukegan High School Class of 2021 in response to the unprecedented difficulties and extraordinary circumstances our students have faced during the last 14 months. The number of credits students in this year's graduating class will require to graduate will be 17 and a half. The change mirrors the State of Illinois model for graduation credit requirements. Students or parents with questions about their standing are asked to contact their counselors. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching and be sure to join us each week for all the news and events in Waukegan Public Schools.